Hello and welcome back to module 10 of the Food and Beverages Operations course. In the previous video, we covered the basic of maintaining personal health and hygiene. In this video, we'll be building on that by learning all about grooming. We'll be learning about the basics of grooming, body hygiene, daily routines for proper hygiene, and what are the main areas to focus for proper hygiene. So let's get started with the first part of grooming. Grooming involves all the simple things that are encountered all times in hospitality industry. The first thing is to keep your uniform clean, ironed, without stains or marks, that way you look presentable and welcoming. The second thing is to wear a full uniform, rather than just one part. This is to make sure you set yourself apart from the guest and can easily identify as someone who is professional representative around there. It's also important to wear a smile as a part of your uniform and there is no excuse for it to be absent. We've heard that smiles are contagious, right? Well, it's true, even in hospitality. Welcoming a guest without a smile is unwelcoming. The fourth part of grooming is having a clean hair and that your hair is combed properly. Ladies should have their hair fastened and not covering their face, while gentlemen should have their hair short, shaved, and this neatness gives the guests the impression that you know how to take care of yourself, and that you will be able to take care of them too. The next point is your hands. Your nails and hands should always be taken care of. Your hands should be clean, and your nails should be cut short. Do not use cream or hand lotion because you will leave marks on glass items and other utensils. Instead, keep your hands washed and dry. The sixth point of grooming is you might have guessed it, your mouth. Employees should not chew gum or eat in public areas reserved for the customers. When you need to help customers, it's best to not be distracted or that you're ready to be spoken to. Last but not least, you have to be aware of your timetable. The times when you have your shift and to always be punctual. Being light makes work hard to other staff and that's easily noticeable by customers. Take a look at the comic on this page. Imagine walking into one of restaurant where thai, thai, I mean the well-dressed man, is standing next to two other workers who are badly groomed and they do not look clean. Of course you will approach thai and side eye the rest. If he knows how to take care of himself, likely knows how to take care for you. That's all for the introduction of proper grooming in the industry. Next, let's move on to the next page of the course where you will be discussing the question below with your peers in the forum. The question is, provide one more examples of grooming required in the hospitality industry. In the next video, we will be talking about guidelines for proper hygiene and the daily routines for proper hygiene and the main areas to focus on proper hygiene. Now, we have spoken about various key concepts. Before moving on to the next video, take some time to reflect on the topics and we'll be introduced to the new concepts in the next video.